Arthur Keller, uh, presently um, ready to be released as version 9.2. And uh, in this tutorial, I would like to show you some tricks with uh, creating higher quality frames from a uh, images from a uh, uh, a uh, recorded video uh, taken with a still camera or a uh, a consumer uh, picture camera and uh, we came up with this uh, this trick back in uh, when I worked on Mystic Knights of Kiernan Nog for uh, let's see it was on the Fox channel um, uh, for Saban I believe it was and uh, they shot the show on 16 millimeter film over in Ireland and uh, when we got the, the uh, plates we needed uh, for, for doing uh, background plates for our uh, computer graphics work. Um, the images were so grainy they weren't particularly particularly useful um, for, for a still image. Uh, so what we did was we would combine three or four of these frames from this uh, film and this had the effect of averaging out the, uh, the noise in the film without without hurting the, uh, the details. Actually, it enhanced the, uh, the details while averaging out the noise. So, um, we, for a long time now, we've had this utility in Howler uh, to do the same thing. It'll uh, take several frames or as many frames, up to 30 frames from an animation sequence or a uh, video, and it will average them. Uh, this has the, as I said, the effect of reducing the noise while improving the detail. So I'm going to load up an animation or a uh, something, ABI, that I have. Um, this is a picture, this is a video I accidentally took with my camera when I was trying to take a still frame of my bike while I was assembling it. Um, I'll just load up all the frames I have. And as you can see here, um, we have this video. And it's a little bit jittery, so that's going to be a problem. Um, ideally, you would want this to be uh, shot on a tripod uh, where there's no movement in the uh, in the frame, in the sequence. But uh, we're not lost. We, we can do something about that. I'll show you what the problem is, though. Let me sort copy this so we can uh, come back to it later if we want to undo any changes we make to, make to it. Um, in animation, in uh, Howler 9.2, we've added the ability to to store animations to either to memory or to disk and then you can later recall them very easily. So I'm going to go to uh, Windows Utilities. Uh, by the time we release uh, 9.2 this will be moved to the, the frames animation slash frames uh, menu item but for, here, for right now it's here in uh, Utilities. Um, average frames to reduce noise. I'm going to just select 30 frames hit OK. In a, in a moment, we'll see that uh, averaging them, them frames did uh, indeed reduce the noise and all, uh, more or less eliminated any noise we had in the images. But since the camera was moving, we have a very blurry looking uh, picture, not really useful for anything. So I'm going to restore that, hit OK, and we have the original animation back. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and stabilize this. Like I said before, we're not lost. We can still probably make something usable out of this. I'm going to go to the animated uh, filters menu and select stabilize, which is a general purpose camera stabilization uh, algorithm. Uh, since 9.2, we have the ability to do a dry run, dry run which means you can, uh, you can test it before committing changes. Um, I'm going to select that. I'm going to select the track point. This could be any point as long as there's good detail and it doesn't change a lot from frame to frame. Like this little blob here, or the saddle, or that pedal, or somewhere on maybe that helmet or somewhere, or maybe one of these bricks. Uh, but since the camera is moving and we want it to eliminate uh, motion as much as possible, the center of rotation is going to have the least amount of, of movement. So we want to have that somewhere near the center of the image or somewhere near where uh, the center of, center of where we want to, to be able to see the most detail. I'm going to choose here uh, as sort of a compromise. Um, I'm going to reduce the search area because the camera's not moving that much. I'm going to keep the block size very high. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and test that. As you can see, it looks like it's tracking pretty well, pretty reasonably well. 
Uh, once it's done with the dry run, I'll turn that off and hit go. And it's processing. And in a moment, in just a moment, you'll see the completed uh, camera stabilization. There's very little movement in this now. There's a little bit. You might run that a second time. You might be able to get a little bit more of that jitter out of there. Um, unfortunately, the camera is rotating slightly. There's not much we can do about that. Uh, it would have been better if the camera had been uh, mounted on a tripod or if even on a, just a, a steady cam, or if it had just been a bigger camera <laughs> in general. But since it's a handheld camera, there's a little bit of jitter from uh, holding it in your hand, you know, and it, it rotates a little bit. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try to, uh, I might, might run that one more time. Let's see, stabilize. Let's see if we can find one more point. I'll try this, uh, this, I think that's a brake caliper right there. Try that spot right there. And do a dry run on it, make sure it's okay. Let go. And, alright, let me uh, go ahead, whoops. Let me go ahead and turn off dry run. And commit that. Okay. That may have helped us some. Let's see. Yeah, that's quite a bit better, actually. Um, now that we've done that, I might store a copy of that, too. And I'm going to go ahead and, as I said, I'm going to apply that uh, uh, average frame algorithm to reduce noise. I'm going to use all the frames, hit 30 frames, and hit OK. As you can see there, this is much less blurry uh, than our first attempt. It does get a little blurry towards the outside. Um, but this might actually have been useful as a, uh, a still frame or as a, uh, a background plate, uh, especially if it had been a little bit higher resolution. Um, you might add a little bit of, uh, let's see, sharp and filter might do a little something to it. You don't want to do too much of that or it'll get obvious, but some will be okay. Um, so basically, we've created a, a higher quality frame than would have been possible from that that cheap uh, video camera that we had used uh, or say if we had used uh, frames from a, uh, a film camera it would have been very grainy um, or just in any case where you don't have a high enough quality image and you have a sequence of frames you can average them and that will give you a higher quality uh, uh, image often re by, by reducing errors or reducing uh, artifacts in the in the video and reducing grain in the video or the, the, the film and that is just one trick we've used uh, over the years to um, uh, to create background plates for animation uh, you could also use it you just use it as a still frame or uh, something in, in any case where you need a higher quality image so uh, glad I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the video uh, I hope to hear from you, our users we love hearing from our users um, if you uh, appreciate the work we're doing on this. We hope to release version 9.2. It's a free update for users uh, of 9 and 9.1 and uh, should be released within the next week. And that's about all for now. Talk to you later.